Good morning. Starting off with some eggs. And uh, switched over. Did some egg whites. Still cage free stuff from Trader Joe's. The rest of the eggs are good. We got some light cheese though, so swapping that in. <sighs> A little sore from yesterday's workout and today's body weight. 275.6. So that's cool. Yeah. Slip in today. It's like, uh, it's like 8. 9.15. I've been up for a minute. God damn. I just really don't sleep in. I just, uh... Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm pretty naturally up at about 6. But after doing the uh, podcast of Terror last night, I was up a little late, had a few drinks, slept in. Prep some meat today. Leave my refrigerator open longer than I should. Let's start Sunday. I know we're going to like the slow cook fest and gonna eat some delicious stuff with a uh, buddy Jordan and then. I love coffee. Uh, yes, it is a surprise. I've talked about it quite a bit. It's, it's all of it. It's just, it's good. I like chasing, trying to find good beans. I like grinding. I like making it. I like enjoying it. Hmm. But I like good coffee. And French press has been my favorite way to make it. And I can't recommend that enough to people. I uh, hate brands actually working with a coffee roaster who wants to uh, put out some of our own coffee. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about hate brand coffee? I think I found some beans. There's uh, some Guatemalan stuff I like. That's the last one I had that I think. It's pretty close to what I want to do. Really hanging out Sunday, no big plans. Gonna train, do something. Today's probably just gonna be conditioning, so it'll be some type of a CrossFit style workout, just something to keep moving, uh, break a sweat, and uh, basically make me not feel so gross for going to this like slow cook fest this afternoon where I'm sure I'm just gonna jam fucking meat in my mouth. Right, so carbs will stay pretty low today uh, since it's not really training. Body weight was also down again, 275.8. I worry about the first numbers. But I know I'm gonna hit up some assault bike and I'm gonna do some, uh, some thrusters or cleans. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe some burpees. Probably like a short, short burner of a workout and then a little longer rest time. Really more of a hit workout. So that is the plan and that's what I'm gonna do. Something that short and ugly, that was fucking brutal. So that's 10 calories on the assault bike, eight thrusters, six burpees. They don't leave the ground burpees, they just kind of move. So each round is like 40 seconds. I did, I did 10 rounds, and you get a five minute break between rounds. 
So it is a fucking all out charge. <sighs> kind of pukey. Yeah, it's no fun. It's a good way to kill an hour. <sighs> I need a shower, get my life together, and uh, I got a meal prep, cook some food. Nice. So I need to prep food. I gotta prep food for the week. Meal prep's done. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten meals. Sweet. Uh, dropped protein a little bit like uh, Andy and I talked about, so now everything is uh, 100 grams of rice and a uh, 100 grams of protein using flank steak and using chicken. Look, the biggest thing meal prepping does, right, is it eliminates an excuse. It's just much easier to grab this out of the fridge or pack it with me on the road than get hungry and make shitty decisions. All right, so we're getting ready to go to this slow cooking thing. Uh, buddy Jordan uh, will be cooking. Iverstein Farms, kind of a local butcher shop they're opening up, all grass-fed beef. Man, you can't wait for them to get open and I can uh, buy meat, you know, a little bit more ethically. I can get meat from where I know it's all coming from. I know how it's treated. First world problems, right? These are things I get to enjoy because I can afford to do it. And I do think, I think it matters. And so that's where I cast my vote and that's where I spend my money. So I gotta get dressed, I feel like a scumbag. Just thinking cute you look. So uh, this guy next to us is definitely listening to a bass tape. His window's down in his uh, PT Cruiser. <laughs> like, here's a heads up. And I've all we've all been victim of this, riding around with your windows down with the music too loud. Uh -huh. And you kind of feel cool about it. Have you ever in your existence saw someone do it and thought they were cool? No, never. <laughs> so guess what? <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> Walking up to a slow, what is it? Slow Foods BR? Fall heat. Fall heat. Which it makes sense, it's still 90 outside. One of the tricky things, like if you want to get out of the house and do cool stuff, let's just say in Baton Rouge or Louisiana, booze and food are gonna be involved. But is that normal everywhere? What do you get outside and go do? You guys do festivals? Or things? Sit down? No, that's not us. That's some fucking bullshit wedding. Sure. I don't know. I have no idea. I've never been here. It's a regular bitters. It's a chocolate bitters with a little orange twist. I'll go with that. tokens or bottle caps that we can vote on our favorite cocktail and food. You're pretty well. People want more of them. Well, we kind of class this whole thing up. A Louisiana Satsuma mule. Satsuma. So I made the Satsuma simple syrup this morning. Crescent vodka. You've got, it's not your father's hard ginger ale. Candy, ginger sugar candy brine with a ginger ale infused satsuma slice. Pretty excited about this. Wet a fall day. Pretty delicious.
Give me your tokens? Yeah. Both? No. You can do the cocktail one. I voted for that and I voted okay. for the Sazerac. What a pussy. <laughs> you voted properly. Double down. I doubled down. I doubled down. <laughs> well, they made a soup. Soup's technically a cocktail. I know. I would drink that. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're done here being silhouettes. We're, uh, we're off. We're off at home. That was awesome. Well, we, uh, it was so good. It's, it, it was not even close. At Southern Wild Foods. I'm not just peeping the game because he's a homie. It's just delicious. Um, first off, this was like the only one that was like hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. I like hot food. And a soup. There's so much more flavor you can there's do with that curry. It's like there. cheating. You gonna See get dog it? weird? See, it? there's two dogs. That's Come on, babe. Is that three dogs? So that's a day. That's it. I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime routine, supplements, stuff like that, and uh, I'm off to bed. Number one, Metamucil. So I've got fish oil. It ends up looking like a lot, but it's really not. I got uh, probiotics. Take a uh, powerful. USP Labs, it's like a nighttime growth hormone release. Uh, a D3 supplement I take, a vitamin. Max, uh, Max Adrenal from Nova 3 Labs. And I take Max Sleep from Nova 3 Labs as well. Those two are really, really awesome. Uh, they used to be Driven Performance Labs, but apparently another company out there existed already called Driven, and then just uh, tried to put them through the ringer, so they had to switch their names. Real fucking bummer. I'm glad I'm not in the supplement business. But this one, that's the key. Mixer in, a uh, healthy amount. Grab of everything you got a big handful. Rubber fiber. <sighs> and your body's basically right and your poops will be ready. So that's it. That's nighttime. That's the day. Really, really cool getting to go hang out with the wife and uh kind of do these dates. Like I'm really happy to be home because I get to do that and be around. And uh, I got a little workout in this morning. It's a way more brutal conditioning circuit than I planned on. Either way, have a good night. Spread hate. Always party. <laughs>